And uh, somehow or another, we, over time, humans over time have been talked out of it. We've discussed on this program many times how children can see, for instance, dead people. Uh, you know, they, 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 see, they see people, you know, playmates or whatnot, until the, the, the adults talk them out of it and say, straighten up, Johnny, act like you got some sense. Basically, we, we order them into the, the system, and the system quashes our perception of the spiritual world that I think we may have been designed to either interact with or perceive. And then when you you might be one who is getting back to where maybe humans were in the beginning, more spiritually aware until the corporations took over the world and then talked us out of it and started charging us. You see what I'm saying? Is, is that yes, a good sir. way to look at it or no? Well, sure, it's a good way to look at it. But it's like like this comment you just made about uh, you're not supposed to uh, talk to the dead and all this. Name one person in America. Name one person in the world hasn't lost their daddy or their mother and hasn't went to that graveyard and stood at that bottom of that grave and say, Dad, I love you. Oh. Name one person. Ooh. Oh, that's hitting below the am belt. I, am I, am Alan, I right or wrong? Alan, I think, I think you, you hit the bullseye on that one there. <laughs> There, there's a lot of hypocrisy just went out on that one, and I, I for well, one, may have... That's the truth, though. You know, I, it's the truth. Well, hopefully then... How hopefully, many times if I went to my daddy's grave uh -huh. and sat there with tears in my eyes uh -huh. and said, Dad, I love you, I'd give anything to be able to see you back. But and if you can't talk, tell me if anybody who hasn't did that. Well, so does that mean everybody in this world mm -hmm. is, is, uh, mm -hmm. is, is like putting me down for mm -hmm. something? That I, that they do themselves. Well, let's put that in another. And, you know, let's put that in another religious context because okay. there, there are those that say uh, you're supposed to pray to a spirit, the Great Spirit, and that's a, a legitimate term. Uh, and mm -hmm. but if the spirit talks back, you got to you should see a psychiatrist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what a psychiatrist is going to do to you. He's going to destroy your mind. <laughs> he's going to destroy your wallet, too. So, yeah, boy. They're talking about I mean, back these, to evil these, right there. These people are good. <laughs> um, they're trained. They're trained by science. Okay. You know, and that's it's just what we said a while ago. Uh, psychiatrists, um, um, these, the, the science that uh, doesn't believe in anything, mm -hmm. they, can't, they cannot in any way, shape, or form mm -hmm. tell me what I hear or I see yeah. with my own eyes. Yeah. I've got I've got good 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 common sense. Mm -hmm. I have never had an imagination to run wild. Mm -hmm. I have uh, on mine rescue. I have drugged babies out from rubble mm -hmm. with their with their hide coming off their legs. Oh, and, you know, and uh, stuff like this. That's not an imagination. That is reality. And that's what I try to. The, when I talk to people, that's what I'm trying to get through yeah. to them. Go with your reality. Don't use mm -hmm. your imagination mm -hmm. on anything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, psychiatrists, sure, there's people with uh, their minds messed up. I've even thought about mine like that. But, no, I'm I'm still uh, the same old honorary cuss I've always been, you know. Mm -hmm. My kids will tell you the same thing. And, but uh, even my oldest son, now you're talking about the religion thing. He, well, I'm not going to mention that. I'll get, I'll get in big time trouble if you do. If I do. Well, go ahead. But... Uh, no, I can't. I tell you, he'll, he'll you listen to this, and I'll be dead. Email me, and you know, I'll say it. Go ahead. I'm scared of my son. All right, go ahead. He's a he's a mean one. Oh boy, no, he's one of the finest men I've ever met. Uh, I've got two. I've got. I'm so fortunate to have three great children, oh. and I am. They all work. Uh, they don't. They don't get out here on mm -hmm. Saturday night. They're drinking mm -hmm. and a cussing and a smoking and all this. Mm -hmm. They're good family people, and uh, and mm -hmm. uh, if I did anything in my life, it's just having three good kids to support me. Okay. And that means the world to me, just like anybody else, you yeah. know? Yeah. Go ahead and ask me another question, Daniel. I'm ready for it. Okay. Um, now, is it is it, the, is it that uh, average Americans go on vacation to the Grand Canyon to... To Tahiti, what do you do? Go go to graveyards? Is, is that what you is that no, what you do? Alan? Lord, I don't take vacations no more. My wife works all the yeah. time, and I'm I mean, I'm partially you, recovered. No, and, 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 I don't, and I'm not trying to be facetious, but do, do you drive down sure. the road and then you say, "Man, I got to visit that spooky graveyard looking thing over there." Um, do you no. do that? Okay. No, I don't go to graveyards. Okay. 
I don't go to graveyards. I go, uh, and when people call me or something like that, and see, I love talking now. I talk yeah. all over. Yeah. And uh, that's what I enjoy yeah. more than anything else because mm-hmm. I hear so many good stories mm-hmm. and I'm listening to it. Mm-hmm. No, for someone going down the road and going to a graveyard, mm-hmm. you know, you, okay. there are so many uh, ones out here that people have been forgotten about. Yeah. I, seen a, I seen a graveyard down in uh, Rich Lanes, Virginia, several years ago. Me and my son went down there. And I kept looking from the road, where in the hell's the graveyard? There was trees so uh, and brush so deep, so thick, that you, you couldn't see any graves. Mm-hmm. So finally, my youngest son said, well, Daddy, let's go. So we went up there, and the saddest thing you'll ever see is a tree coming up in the middle of a grave. Oh. Now, that's sad. Yeah. The next thing is, me and my oldest son went mm-hmm. to a place called yeah. Pocahontas, Virginia. Yeah. This used to be a coal mining community that yeah. had more millionaires than any place in mm-hmm. uh, West Virginia. Yeah. And on top of this great big mountain, they have got uh, uh, just an old cemetery, mm-hmm. a great big one. Mm-hmm. And what's sad is when you go into a cemetery like that mm-hmm. and you see where people has took axes, Oh, they took sledgehammers and they knocked the headstones oh, out. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's the day. You know, my 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 uh, my uh, do- one of my dogs died, and I planted a tree over his grave so I wouldn't lose where he was. You know what the tree is? Yes, sir. Absolutely. You, you, what what tree is it? Oh, I have no idea what the tree would be. It'd be a dogwood. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I got you on, I got you I on like that, that Now, wait a minute now. See, I got the idea that you visit graveyards because in the first hour you said you were setting recorders down on, on gravestones, weren't you? Sure. Well, you've sure. got to be going to somebody's graveyard. Mm-mm, no, I don't. You can go to homes and do that. Ooh. You can go outside your door and do that. Okay. You don't have to go to a graveyard for what's here, sir. Okay. Okay. So They are every place. You don't, you don't have to ghost hunt. Uh-huh. Just in a haunted location like a graveyard. First of all, it's against the law to be in if a graveyard some, after dark. Uh, Alan, if if some if one of our uh, listening or viewing uh, audience thinks their house might be haunted, is there a, such is is there a, like a ghost trap? Is is there is there some way that they can tell for sure it is haunted, not their imagination? What what are the telltale signs that your house is haunted? Oh God! Well, you know you've got so many. You know, let's say let's say a person is sitting there by themselves, and they hear footsteps that mm-hmm. should not be there. Then, then they ought to start thinking. You know, why are the footsteps there? It's like the low voices, a muffled voice behind mm-hmm. you or in front of you. Mm-hmm. Objects vanishing, uh, dark shadows moving along the walls. That you know, with your Daniel, if you're sitting in your house and you've got uh, good common sense, I can already tell this. You're sitting there, and you see something in front of you that should not be there. You better start thinking about a spirit being in that Ooh, house. Yikes. The next thing, you know, mm-hmm. uh, strange odors. That's a biggie. Mm-hmm. Uh, dogs, and, and this is the one I've seen more than anything else, dogs and cats acting, uh, you know, strangely or wild. Have you ever seen a cat just, oh, he's just playing up a storm. He's jumping on the wall. There's no gnats on the wall or flies on the wall. Makes you wonder, why is he doing this? Well, he's probably playing for spirits. Uh, strong strong and negative emotions being felt. Mm-hmm. Let's say you come into mm-hmm. your kitchen. Yeah. And all of a sudden you feel like crying. Mm-hmm. Or you, you feel something, you know, you just cannot explain. And mm-hmm. being a, a normal, common human being, why am I feeling like mm-hmm. this? Well, it could pretty well be a spirit. Yeah, um, Alan. Now somebody's going to going to bring this out in, in a question, and, and I'm sure. sure at some part, some point, somewhere, somebody's going to ask you the question: How do we know that in these voices? You you mentioned several things you've caught on tape, mm-hmm. which you say are clear. Sure. Now, you, you would never have somebody.